Okay, we're back. Um, last time we went through Volkner's gym. We didn't beat it, but we uh, we beat all the trainers, so... Now we're gonna just go on to Route 225. We trained up Squish, too. Uh, I didn't give it an item. Hold on. What did I just take off the team? Oh yeah, right. Maroon, who just killed himself by missing Drill Run. So instead, we're just gonna give the Expert Belt to Squish. Uh, yeah, pretty much, that's it. Um, the only thing I've changed is now Bo has Dazzling Gleam instead of Power Gem, because I, I don't know, I thought it'd be more useful. Eh, I mean, Power Gem's kinda better, but... Uh, I don't know, it has Dazzling Gleam, because if we didn't have any other Fairy-type moves on our team, and we do have other Rock-type moves, so... By other Rock-type moves, yeah, I have Rock Climb. So, I thought Dazzling Gleam would just be more useful for the diversity of our team, in case we need a, a Dragon, I mean, def Dazzling Gleam. The point is Dazzling Gleam, okay. Um, next Squish has Sludge Bomb, Ice Beam, Earth Power, and Scald. I need to teach it Surf because I can't actually go in this water unless it has Surf. I forgot about that. So Surf it is instead of Scald. Hopefully this route's not too long. I'm pretty sure it is, so whatever. Let's just go straight into it. I need to turn on a Repel too. You know, it'd be great if you didn't do this, please. Go away. This is why I need a repel. Ambrose can't run away from anything. There's probably gonna be a lot of trainers on this route, so we have a lot of water-type guys to go through that I can just Thunderbolt and move on with. But, unfortunately, Bo's not fast enough to just Thunderbolt and move on. It has to take a hit first, so... It's almost always going to take that hit first. Like that bounce, for example. And then Thunderbolts. Luckily, bounce doesn't do anything to it. Since it's an Ampharos, it does have pretty decent bulk, so I'm not super worried about getting hit by, like, one super effective move, as long as I'm above half. Unless it's, like, an uber strong Pokemon that's set up on me. Quagsire, for example, I mean, isn't uber strong, but I'm still worried about an earthquake, so we're just gonna go into Neck and click Giga Drain. I do think coming on this route first is a good idea, especially since, like, the Pokemon here are level 60, and that's, that's kind of worrying, because I feel like... Uh, Volkner is going to be like 63, so let's just at least get a little bit of free training in before we fight him. I'd rather be as safe as can be, especially if my team is pretty much set for the Elite Four, and I have, like, all the best Pokemon that are in my box or in my party, except for that, um, that Gyarados, which once I, once this gym's over, I'm going to add Gyarados instead of Squish, 100%. Um, just for the Elite Four, it, it'll be much better. I didn't switch. Um, especially since that Gyarados is jolly, it'll just be a good idea to have that with us. I might end up replacing Cradilly too. I mean, Cradilly's doing well, but at the same time, it's like... I don't know what I'm complaining about. This Cradilly is good. I shouldn't diss it like that. It's just not quite as good as Snorlax, for example, who has actually made it so far without dying somehow. It has Water Spout. Is it raining, too? It's raining, and that was a water spout. I'm surprised that did as little as it did. That just proves how tanky Snorlax did. A raining full health water spout from a Blastoise did, like, almost nothing. We should get June trained, but I'm, I'm just afraid to lead with June into, like, these water types. Should be fine here, though. I can just switch out. Of course, I don't have Pelipper anymore, so... I can't just click Earthquake whenever I want, which is kind of annoying. But once I have Gyarados, that problem will be solved. Not like I'll be fighting too many double battles before I get to the Elite Four anyways, so it's not a huge deal. But it's still something to be worried about. We definitely have to switch a June out right away, because that Azumarill could have Super Power, and I don't want to risk that. We're actually going to go into Bow here, and then we're going to use... Rock climb on Pelipper. Yeah, it had superpower. And they double attacked to me, so there was no way Weavila would have survived that. 
Thunderbolt, the Azuril, and a Rock Climb Pelipper. Of course he missed Rock Climb. It wouldn't be... It wouldn't, wouldn't just make sense if he did hit. Um, that Slowbro could have Ice Beam, and I'm kind of worried. We're going to switch out, actually. We'll go into... We'll go into Neck. Yeah, we'll go into Neck, and then we'll use... We'll just kill the Pelipper with Strength. That's what I should have done anyways. I shouldn't have risked missing anyways. Future Sight. That's kind of worrying. Hopefully he targeted Snorlax. Oh, that's not good. For alligator is definitely a problem. We have a turn before that uh, future sight hits, so we're gonna kill the for alligator to free up a slot before that happens. Okay, it's dead this turn. Now the future sight's gonna happen. What do I do? Trick room is up, and artillery is out. I, I want to send in Weavile just to tank the future sight. But Artillery might attack Cradilly with an Ice Beam or something. Even though Revile resists that, I don't want to risk it going for Signal Beam or something like Hydro Pump. Any of those would be like a death sentence. So we're going to go into Switch in instead. We're going to leave Bessie out because it's Bessie. And then we'll go for Strength. It is minus one, but I guess we're just going to have to do with that. I can't switch out Bessie just in case he went for the Future Sight on Bessie comes to future sites it was on squish okay good that did like nothing now we can go for earth power yeah earth power on artillery and then we're going to use Snorlax's turn to heal squish another future site honestly the slow is not doing much the future sites are scary but not, it's not too much for our team right now. We can just kill the slow row whenever we want. Which is now. This is the future site turn, so... Uh, Squish is probably going to take that damage. And now I can switch Switch out. Gorobis. I don't need to switch Squish out. I'll just kill the Gorobis. It went for barriers, so Snorlax isn't going to do much damage to it, but Earth Power sure will. I think it's Swift Swim. Oh, wow. I forgot that Storm Drain worked the way it did in this. It's just so bad. It's so bad. It, does, it doesn't make you immune to Water-type moves. Okay. Double battles like that are always a problem. I feel like every double battle we encounter brings us to near death. So I'm gonna call that one a success. No, it's time to switch. Let's go into bow. The only thing this thing would do like dangerous to bow is have ice beam, but I don't think it'll have that. Actually, I could probably stay in on this and just use Rock Smash. Or not Rock Smash, Faint Attack. That should be fine. Unless it goes for Water Spout, but it's so low that... Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. It scared me, but we're fine. Faint Attack can't miss, so we can just move on. Corsola, that'll probably die to a Rock Smash, but I don't want to risk it on probably. So we're going to switch instead and use Giga Drain. next. Um, you know what? We're going to stay in because Seeking could have Flame Drill. It also has Mega Horn, but that's just the, yeah, we're fine. You know, I was complaining a little bit about Neck before, but Neck's really holding his own. With the Giga Drain and just how fairly bulky he is, he does well. He does well. I, it's just that I'm comparing his tankiness to Bessie, which is unfair. It's completely unfair. Like, it's not even close, but... Actually, wait, it is pretty close. 
163 with 63 for special defense. It just doesn't have nearly as much HP. Next, really good. I, I shouldn't have said those mean things about it. Well, this is all the same route, so it's not like I can get another fishing encounter. The only real encounter we're going to get before the Elite Four is going to happen in Victory Road, and hopefully we can get something good there. I definitely have to switch out of Kingler. Yeah, X Scissor. And it was a crit. Ouch. Luckily, I can't survive a Thunderbolt. Machamp. That's definitely a problem. Uh, that's what Pelipper was for. Uh, I just remembered that's why I added Pelipper to the team. Uh, I guess we'll just go into Sharkeisha. Unless it has Ice Punch, we should be fine, and hopefully it doesn't have Ice Punch, and I didn't risk it by saying that. I mean, drinks it, not risk it. Well, both. Scary face. Well, if I saw a four-armed thing with a duck bill, I'd be pretty scared too, actually, so I don't blame it. Gastrodon. I keep sending a neck for stuff like that when I don't need to, really. But at the same time, I'd rather just have it dead so we can move on. And Slowking. Actually, this is a bad idea. I could have Ice Beam. I say as I keep going for Crunch anyways. No, just Future Sight. I don't know why I went for Crunch. I was just automatically doing that while I was talking about it, having Ice Beam. Honestly, that's the problem with Ampharos. It is a good Pokemon, kinda. But, like, it's so slow, that it just takes so much damage, it's annoying to use. But it is powerful, so we're not gonna sleep on it. Especially with Tail Glow. If I can just set up at one Tail Glow, the battle's golden. Honestly, with how slow it is, I might not even need Tail Glow. Because it's not, it's not nearly as bulky as, like, Belly Drum, um, Bessie. But it is okay. I don't know, we'll see. Golduck, a faint attack. And Lapras. We could Rock Smash, but I'm afraid it'll live. So instead, we go into Bessie. army we can probably yeah let's just faint attack that we was definitely faster than this army like there's actually zero chance it's not so i need to be using weavile a bit more liberally here just since you know it's not really in any danger from things that can just one shot It's always going to be faster. There's not really ever going to be a chance when it's not. Just like how Expo wasn't faster than that Crobat, that situation wouldn't happen with Weavile because it would just be faster. I mean, actually, the Crobat might still be faster, but hypothetically, it will never be slower. Oh, this was a bad choice. Victorian always has Ice Beam. I'm actually surprised it went down to that. We're almost done with the route, honestly. Gyarados. Yeah, that's a switch. We need to get out of there. Um, I do want to switch into Bow, but I'm kind of scared it might hit me with Ice Fang. Well, it's not going to use Ice Fang on June. There's... We're fine. It does go for Hydro Pump, though, which we resist. I'm pretty sure all the trainers Pokemon just have their level up moves. I don't think I've seen them use anything crazy, really. So, that's why these Gyarados just keep going for Hydro Pump instead of like Aqua Tail. I think that's the entire route. Yep, this is Pokemon League. Actually, I don't want to get an encounter here yet because I think we might be able to get like a grass or cave encounter, so I'll come back later. Plus, we don't have Waterfall.
I mean, we could fish here, but I'd rather not. We're just gonna go sunny shore. Okay, so I think that's good. We're actually going to end the episode here. We'll come back next time, and I'll fight Volkner right away. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll be back, and next we're going to fight Voltner and then go up the waterfall and head to Victory Road, so be ready for that. Hopefully I'm ready for that. Hopefully you don't lose too many Pokemon in between me being ready for that and not ready for that, but here we go.